Have you ever wanted to go exploring in your survival world and not wanted to travel all the way back? Have you and your friends gone on a big expedition and not been able to return home safely? Do you just want to travel really fast? Then let me present to you the new fastest way of traveling long distances in seconds. Minecraft is a game filled with different exploration options and such a vast world to enjoy. However, the issue always seems to be in finding your way back to your base. Now, we all know you can save coordinates and make your way home. However, if you spend one hour going 20,000 blocks, you are going to have to spend another hour doing the exact same thing going back home. But what if we could do this instantly with some clever uses of the game's mechanics? Well, let me present to you the Enderpearl Railway. Now, it isn't actually a railway. However, it does have its uses as a transport system. But enough talking about it, let me actually just show you it in action. As you can see, I am 10,000 blocks away and it is slowly turning into night time. I don't want to be out here while all the mobs are around as I have some very juicy loot on me and losing it would mean my journey was all for nothing. While it turns to night and the mobs come rolling in, what am I going to do? Well, luckily, I'm back home. How did this happen? Well, let me explain it, shall we? To start off, we're going to need an elevator. In order to make the elevator, we are going to need soul sand, a water bucket and some kelp. First off, let's dig down enough blocks so that when we throw our ender pearl, it doesn't hit the bottom and immediately teleport us. Next up, we are going to need to place our water bucket at the top and let it slowly fill up the column. After we have done this, we need our kelp. The kelp is needed to turn all of the water blocks into water source blocks. After we have done this, we place our soul sand at the bottom and we have made our elevator column. After we have done this, we just need to place a trapdoor on top and we are ready to go. Now, there are actually several different methods into getting this to work correctly, so let's explore all the options. First up, we have friends. The first method is pretty easy and just requires you to play with your friends. You throw the ender pearl into the column and it should look something like this. As you can see, it's just bouncing up and down. Now that this has happened, you get to go off and explore. The best part about this is that I actually tested this with a friend and we spent almost two hours exploring as well as running into issues like me disconnecting from the server and when I came back, it still worked. Just a word of warning, be sure that the server you are playing on doesn't have an entity wiper, otherwise this might not work as it will clear the ender pearl and you'll be left stranded. Once you are done with your lovely exploration, just get a friend to flip the trap door and boom, you're right back home. Next up on our list, we have daylight sensors. Although I am not a big redstone user, this has become very handy for some daylight exploration and making sure I can get back home before any pesky phantoms come after me. So in order to use this, it's very simple. All you need to do is place a daylight sensor next to the trap door so that come nighttime, you'll be taken all the way back home without any worries. The final method I found for this that we're going to be looking at today is using items. This won't let you travel as far compared to some of the item methods due to how despawning works, but is very useful for a quick trip out to the mine or just to grab some items. By leaving an item on the pressure plate, it's going to keep the trapdoor open until the item has despawned, leaving you to be able to get a cheeky mission done and just return home in no time at all. And that's it. That is the new way to travel 20,000 blocks in one second. If you did enjoy this video and want to learn some more secret tips about Minecraft, then be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you would like to be notified when I upload, make sure to subscribe. But anyway, that is all I have time for today, so I shall see you next time. Goodbye.